Alright, so while I'm getting this set up, so I'm currently downloading one of my old games from back in the day, Spider-Man Web of Shadows from the 360 PS2 era, or PS3 as well. Um, it took me a minute here, but um, if you guys want to find the link, it's over here on this Reddit link, Web of Shadows, PC port, it's going to be this link right here. I'm going to go ahead and follow this to a T. I went ahead, had both of my folder open, folders open here, my downloads. Uh, this is the file that I created under the Spider-Man Web of Shadows. It's on my external drive. Then I came on over here to, um, let me go back, how do I go back? How do I go back? How do I go back? Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure how to go back. I don't really know how to use this too well. Okay. So, this is the, the file that's going to give you. Before you actually get to this point, actually, um, double click this. It'll give you the pop up of which app you want to use. Go ahead and just search your PC. Go to your WinWire app, open that, and then click on the WinWire. Use that to open the file. And then you should be good. It'll open this up here. You're gonna wanna go to where it says setup, double click that, RSCR, auto run, and then after that, install.exe. And then from there, I will keep you guys updated. All right, so after it's done downloading, I'll give you the setup, and this should pop up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cancel the uninstall. What the fuck? Alright, well, it gave me the uninstall. I think it's because I had it already installed on my thing, so I'm pretty sure after I clicked the, un the install, it automatically put uninstall just because it, it recognized it on my system. Anyway, don't click play. Quit. And then from there, a little demonstration of what I told you to do earlier. I just added this choose app on PC. Bam. I'll do it just once. And this should pop up. So after you got the the installer installed and you got that little web, the little pop up for the Web of Shadows game, you're going to come over here to where it says setup. Oh, wrong one. You're going to go to crack. Then you're going to drag this over here. Uh, let me go ahead and start from the beginning over here on this. Uh, you're going to want to navigate to your Web of Shadows install folder, which it just installed. The little pop up menu that you got. Go to Activision, Web of Shadows, Image, PC. And you're going to go ahead and drag this, this folder here into the one we were just I just showed you. So we're going to drag it here. Replace the file and destination. Continue. Bam. And it should have replaced the the older one with this cracked version. Which will, I'm assuming, allow you to play without some sort of code or uh, bush that you, you get whenever you actually purchase the game. So I'm going to go ahead and see something real quick. Let me see what this is. I'm pretty much just doing everything it's saying here, but I'm putting it into a, a video format so that's a little easier for some people to follow along. Okay. So it should be as simple as Spider-Man Web of Shadows, the application, please configure, not this one, I don't know, oh, so yeah, I think it would be, uh, go over here, it gives you the, the fucking controller layout, ooh, just click play. Get that out of my face. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like it's running, guys. 
Uh, oh man, oh man, I'm missing out on the, the sweet, sweet audio. No, no. Oh man, this game is goaded. This is my childhood. Let's hear it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just hard to get a hold of this game, especially nowadays. Uh, I've been whipping out my Xbox 360 every time I want to play this game, and it becomes kind of a hassle because I don't really use my Xbox 360 anymore. But just to confirm, I do have it. I have all my, my old Xbox 360 games in here. Some of these are a little, quote unquote, rare or um, just they don't they don't sell them anymore. Like this beautiful SmackDown vs. Raw, uh, X Men Origins. There's a couple here, but anyway, yes, Spider Man Web of Shadows has been one of those. Every time I try to look for it for anything else, it's always really expensive or almost unobtainable. So, yeah, just to confirm that I actually have a valid copy that I purchased it at one point. Okay, so it's essentially like I'm downloading it to my PC. Okay, so leave me alone. All right, I also didn't show this before. Um, probably just gonna overlay this into my other video I edited it in. Um, uh, okay, so if you wanna play it with Xbox controls, I looked it up in the same little uh, string on Reddit add a non-steam game just because i would prefer to actually use um to use my control i'm not much of a, a pc player and um, when i do it's only like first person shooters so it's a little funky for me to actually <laughs> use the keyboard on this so i'm gonna go to my program files activision blah blah, blah image pc and that should be it. Click on the application, open, add select the programs, and it should be here. Bam. It's not gonna look pretty or anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's not a Steam game, so it's, it's not gonna pop up. But um, I actually want to see, I'm gonna turn on my controller here. Launch my Xbox button, obviously. It'll open up uh, this little controller UI for Steam. Where is it? No. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. So just go to non Steam. Play. And then, with luck. Yeah, should be that simple. Now, <laughs> just hearing it is so beautiful. Oh man, yep, all right, perfect. So here you guys go. Perfect install, everything works as it should. All buttons work. And that should be it. Have fun, enjoy playing with the shadows.